Okay, Burzin, Wagmar there as well. Burzin, your thoughts? Your thoughts, Burzin, on, uh, on, on passing away of the Queen today? You mentioned New Delhi. It was her grandfather who made a state visit in 1911 that saw the erection of the Gateway of India in Bombay mm. and also uh, the formal inauguration of the new capital of New Delhi in 1911 on his visit and transfer from Calcutta to New Delhi. Uh, I just mentioned that as a sense of continuity, which then brings me to her father, who was India's first head of state, King George VI. If you recollect, was India's head of state from 15th August 47 to 25th January 1950. Uh, the following morning, it became a republic, as you very well know. Hmm. And uh, he was the first head of state with Prime Minister Nehru's head of government. That is important to mention. The first state visit when she was the Republic Day chief guest of Dr. Prasad in January 1961 was not exactly tinged with Raj nostalgia. Barring aside a hunt, uh, which was organized by the uh, State House of Jaipur and uh, Gayatri Devi, hmm. where did her visits take place, if you recollect, Mr. Chobe? Dr. Bhaba took her from Gateway of India, which was built for her grandfather, King George V, hmm. to see Trombe, the atomic energy establishment, which was set up in 1956. She went to the Indian Institute of Bangalore, the Integrated Coach Factory in Madras, and, of course, uh, other visits to Bombay, Delhi, and Calcutta. Hmm. So she already heralded the new Britain and the new India and the relationship which was marked by immense goodwill. As you see it, uh, when Nehru was asked on visits to England as a Commonwealth Prime Minister, how is it that you spent 16 years in prison, but you seem to reflect no rancor or ill will? Okay. Well, that goes back to the very day of independence, Mr. Chaube, if you care to re realize that Indians unharnessed the carriage carrying Lord Louis and the Viserine uh, Edwina Mountbatten and dragged it themselves to the streets of New Delhi. And that is a patent fact and actually is noted on newsreels. Hmm. So for all that can be said of partition, and there's much to be said about uh, its... Um, a legacy and impact, there was immense goodwill in India, which you don't find across in other parts of the Commonwealth uh, and uh, the um, what was the former empire. That needs to be foregrounded. And much of it had to do with the Queen as the way she conducted herself. Okay. Uh, and she, it was a fraternal union of English-speaking countries where there was parity through and through with no members standing tall or short. Okay. Even the smallest country could speak up, and they did during the mid-80s, or when it came to the question of imposing sanctions in South Africa. In the early 80s and late 70s, on the question of uh, Rhodesia uh, and Zimbabwe's independence, if you recollect. Mm. And uh, speaking of recollection uh, re and reconciliation, mm. her visit to Ireland in 2011 was uh, nothing if not admirable. Okay. To say nothing of her visit and her personal uh, amity and relationship with Nelson Mandela after 1994. So, and of course, it so essentially.